Hey guys, it's Katie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I've got a cake tutorial for you guys. This was a nautical themed baby shower cake that one of my clients ordered from me. And I love the design so much. I thought you guys would love it too. So I decided to film a tutorial and show y'all how I did it. Um, one day ahead of time, you want to make the sailboat to go on the top and all the little fondant accents and stuff. You always want to do that in advance. So to make the boat, the hull of the boat, I decided to mix pre-dyed blue fondant with gum paste because I needed it to have a little bit of structure um, and the gum paste gives the fondant a little bit more stability. Then I cut out the body or the hull of the boat. Um, I just sort of sketched one out onto paper and cut it out and laid it down on top of my fondant and then I cut out a little flag freehanded, um, just a little triangle to go onto the top. And um, then I took this little handy tool that I got at Hobby Lobby in the sewing section that is for, for marking fabric. And if you run it over the fondant, it kind of makes these little indentions and it makes like faux stitch marks. And I love it. Um, I'm so glad I finally invested in one. I say invested, it was $1.99. Zero investment, really. But um, it just, I feel like it just amped up the design of this cake and it might not come through on the video but I promise in person it made such a big difference so I took some um, paper towel and I put that underneath the little parts of the boat so they would sit up with a dome then for the sails I used all gum paste no fondant I needed my sails to dry stiff and hard and have no movement to them because they are gonna sit up and they need to be so structurally sound so I rolled out some white gum paste and then used my plunger cut out cutter to cut out little circle polka dots with red gum paste and glued it down with water. And then I cut out my sails again. I freehand drew these. You need one with a right angle and then the other with um, like kind of curves to it. So it looks like it's blowing in the wind. If you're not confident in your ability to do this, I would suggest getting on Google finding a sailboat clip art, a sailboat silhouette, something like that. Just print it on your printer at home and then cut it out and do what I'm doing here. Um, if you're not confident, I do it all the time with other cakes. Um, then I used my little plunger cutters to cut out three white gum paste stars and set those aside. And then I also cut out three more polka dots that were larger than the polka dots that I used on my sails. I wanted them just a little bit bigger. And then I used my little marking tool to do stitches around my sails as well and um, set those aside to sort of dry and harden and again this is all day before stuff um, you don't want to be trying to do this the same day then I made my life preservers and for these I used fondant and I rolled up my fondant kind of thick because you know a life preserver is domed like yes it's round like a ring but it's also kind of got a domed shape it's not completely flat and the thicker fondant sort of lends itself to a more realistic looking structure then I cut out circles and I think that's about a two inch circle cutter and just smoothed around the edges with my fingers and then I think the center is about a half inch it's from a set and I don't know the dimensions of all of the pieces but I'm gonna guess it's a two inch and a half inch and um, then I also went through and just sort of like ran my paintbrush through the middle of the life preserver to sort of soften up those inside edges. Then I used water on the inside of one half of my boat and um, what I'm doing is kind of making it a little bit sticky so I can stick my two halves together and I stuck the paper towel back into there. And because my boat is gonna need to sit up flat on top of my cake, I need it to be flat on the bottom. So I used my knife to sort of smash in the bottom. I didn't cut anything off the excess. It was just a nice hard flat surface that I could kind of push against. And um, after the glue had time to kind of stick and harden again, I was able to add some fondant into my boat. And the reason we put fondant in here and not paper towel or not leaving it empty is you want your bottom of your boat to have some weight so that when you put your sail in, it's not going to like flop over or anything like that. And just be careful because you don't want your fondant to tear through the sides of your boat. And then just, I kind of like eyeballed it and played with it until it felt like it was good and sturdy and secure and it was going to sit up on its own. And then I left it to sit overnight and kind of harden overnight.
Then I took those little stars that I cut out earlier and I glued them with some water onto the little red polka dots that I cut out. And again, I set those aside to firm up and harden as well overnight. Then my life preserver had time to get nice and firm and I cut out some red fondant and just really thin strips and I wrapped it around the life preserver. And what it did is kind of like wrap it around two full times so that when you're looking at the front of the preserver, you see two full bands of fondant. And then I used my fingers to smooth it around so it looked like it was nice and tight and um, just trimmed off the excess with my knife. I did also run my little seam marker stitcher thing over the red after I had them all wrapped and it just added just a little bit of a, a touch, you know, made it look a little bit more professional. I repeated this on three life preservers, so there's a total of three on the cake, and I did it on four different places on each life preserver. So like if it was a clock at 12, 3, 6, and 9 o'clock. So um, I did those and then just set them aside to kind of harden and stuff overnight as well. Then I moved on to my cake, which was a 10 inch chocolate cake frosted in navy blue frosting. And I'm applying strips of blue fondant that are flat on one edge and have a wavy pattern on the top. And you can either do this the day of or the day before. Um, for me, I did it the day of. And um, and just kind of wrapped it around. You don't need to worry about cutting your fondant to have like a full, you know, to fit all the way around the circumference of your cake. You can work in strips. And um, when I got to the bottom, I did a lot of like smaller little domed pieces and it just makes the waves of your cake. And then it's time to um, start putting together the sailboat. Everything has had time to harden and I like to work with um, candy melts or white chocolate when I'm sticking together things like this. You can use royal icing. Um, I just like the candy melts. I think they work pretty easily. So I melted them and put them in a piping bag and just set it aside for a few minutes so that it wouldn't be so fresh out of the microwave melty hot. And I went back to the bottom of my boat and I cut out a little piece of blue fondant to sort of fit into the top of the boat. And it just sort of covers up all the little lumps and, you know, stuff that's inside the boat because people are going to be looking at it and you want it to look nice and professional um, whichever direction that they're looking at it. So I poked all of that in and then just kind of set it aside for a few minutes. And then I took my sails which have completely hardened and I flipped them upside down and used a cookie stick to be, I guess that's the mast, is that what you call it? The poles that hold up the sails? I think it's a mast. And um, glued those down with the candy melts and I like to put a strip on the bottom put the stick down and then put more on top of there because it's always better to have too much chocolate back there than not enough chocolate and then I glued on that curved little piece and just sort of like stuck it there on the side and added some more chocolate and then I also did the little um, blue flag at the top and when that was all done, I kind of set it aside and let it harden. They need to harden for probably about 20 minutes or so. It'll depend on the temperature um, that you started the chocolate with, the temperature in your kitchen. There's different factors that go into it, so there's not an exact way. Uh, but once it's hardened, it's time to stick it into the boat. And I just added a little bit of chocolate into the middle of the boat so the stick would have something extra to hold on to. And then I used um, a picture frame just to kind of support it and then added a tiny little ball of red fondant to the top. I want to say that within about 10 minutes or so, I was able to move that picture frame. It doesn't take very long at all. And um, then I started gluing those little red circles with the white stars onto the front and I used the chocolate for that as well. And um, after that was all kind of put together, I just set this boat aside and then I moved it to the refrigerator um, when I felt like it was sturdy enough to be moved around just to give it a little bit of extra, you know. Then I started on the top part of my cake and it's a six inch white cake and then I made rope out of brown fondant, which I didn't film, but if you guys would like to see that, let me know and I'll do a quick tutorial on how to make fondant rope. Um, 
and I just kind of wrapped it around the front and then I forgot to film this I'm so sorry but this is just an anchor that's made out of fondant you could use a cookie cutter if you had one but what I did is I just made two thin strips to make the cross and then I cut a like a curved strip and adhered that down and then to make the points on the end of the anchor I used um, a diamond shaped plunger cutter and just sort of pressed that onto the front of the cake and then I cut a ring out of fondant and threaded that through another fondant rope and then just kind of positioned it so that it looked like the ring was attached to the anchor so you're kind of faking out um, the people that are seeing your cake and it looks like you hung this whole anchor from the rope and you totally didn't um, and I just sort of poked that rope onto my cake and I repeated it all the way around so from any angle that you looked at it the rope went all the way around both at the base of the cake and then there at the top um, my client did request welcome baby be added to the cake and I just took regular ribbon and used my candy melts and wrote welcome baby and just adhered that onto the front of the cake with um, candy melts and um, my life preservers I stuck those on with candy melts as well when I'm putting stuff like this on a cake I like to put a little bit of candy melt on the bottom and then um, see where it's gonna touch the cake and then I add some to the top and that's all it was if you guys enjoyed this video if you found it helpful please give it me a thumbs up it helps me know what kind of videos you guys want to see in the future and if y'all have requests for future cake DIYs please leave them in the comments below I love recreating things that y'all ask to see and if you're new to my channel I'd like to have you stick around if you hit the subscribe button down below you'd make me so very happy and I will see y'all in my next video bye